My name is The Adipose and this is The Simpsons Tapped Out. In this episode I'm going to be teaching you how you can maximise your grub rating on the Christometer. Well, greetings and welcome back to Krusty Land. As I promised, all this week we are going to be looking at the Crustometer or the Crustometer, um, which is really going to help you get lots more visitors into your park, increase your Krusty Land ticket bonus, um, and improve your lovely little bus um, in the left hand side um, as well. And today we're going to, in particular, we're going to be looking at the, uh, the grub factor, probably because that's the simplest and probably the cheapest um, to maximize. Maximize. So if we just have a look at what that is, it's the bottom left one here in the crustometer grub. Buy food stalls to give people energy to get back in line for rides. Now the information I'm going to be sharing with you today uh, comes from a brand new uh, Simpsons uh, website and it is known as um, the Simpsons Tapped Out Topics or T-S-T-O Topics and I'll be linking you to um, the information I'll be using at, in, in the description and it was a very nice chat by a called Murphy um, who gave me permission to use this information and has set it out in a really nice clear way um, on that website so um, if you want to get ahead I mean all the stuff I'm going to be sharing with you this week more or less comes from there but I'm going to be putting it in a kind of nice, nice neat visual way um, but if you want to get ahead you can head over straight over to that website and get involved um, in lots of exciting tapped out information anyway we're talking about grub now grub basically works like this to get five stars in grub and as you can see here I'm just on four stars at the moment uh, you need to have 180 points every single um, grub based um, uh, shop basically gives you 10 points so the the fried dough here gives me 10 points hot dogs 10 points popcorn 10 points crusty burger 10 points and even the really big stuff here like the the food needle gives me 10 points and even stuff in that's going to be coming in the future like the uh, the the duff pavilion which I haven't got yet um, is going to give you 10 points so everything is 10 points and if we need 180 points then that means we need 18 of these objects in our um, crusty land okay so 18 of them all together now if you're following through the quests you will end up with as far as I've calculated it one crusty burger one duff pavilion one food needle and one cotton candy okay to complete all the quests you're gonna have to have those four items and that gives you 40 points four items that's 40 points which means you'll get two stars just by doing that um, but you will still need another 140 points ie 14 of these little things um, to get up to the the full five stars for your particular park however some of those late ones are really really expensive especially the duff pavilion which is going to cost you 25,000 tickets um, the food needle here cost me 5,000 tickets um, but the others are all pretty cheap the crusty burgers are 650 and all of these sides all of these little ones here are only um, 400 each so the easiest way for you and the cheapest way and the quickest way for you to get five stars in grub is simply to buy 18 of these small little ones maybe with a couple of crusty burgers sprinkled in as well and if you were to get 18 of these little ones at 400 tickets each that will cost you 7200 tickets which is easily manageable um, in uh, um, a couple of weeks of play in fact you'll probably be way over that um, if you go straight for it and I would actually recommend that you you do go for uh, maximizing your crustometer for the reasons I talked about last time you'll get more people in your park which means more tickets which means you'll be able to get to um, the other uh, overall you'll be able to get to the other rides um, and stuff quicker so um, as you can see I, I've, I've, I've just started laying out my park really but we've got um, a bunch of food things there a bunch of food things there this is my second crusty burger um, on the way there and then I've got a few here which I'm gonna I will move around the park as and when I can afford new land so it isn't really isn't actually all that many um, to maximize grub and hopefully uh, with just buying one more um, if I head into decorations, um, I haven't got the candy one yet, and the candy one would have actually taken me to 18, um, but I'm not up to that mission yet, but I'll probably sell some of these off once I do, because you can sell them for, I think it's, uh, if we just check before I buy that, you can sell these for... Uh, 100 crusty land tickets so it's, I think it's about a quarter of their value you'll get back so even if you do end up selling some of these eventually it's probably still 
um, going to be worth it. So if we pick up our, uh, let's pick up another hot dog stand because they're probably the smallest. And if we can just squeeze it in here, that should have just taken me up to five stars on the grub, which is fantastic. I hope that was all clear. If it's not, do head over to that, um, either ask in the comment section or do head over to Simpsons Tapped Out Topics um, for lots of good information over there. And I'll be looking at Nausea Kits nausea kitsch merch um, later in the week so do subscribe to the channel um, if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss all that take care and i will see you soon bye bye